Antarctica is commonly known as the planet's coldest, driest and iciest region. However, life still manages to find a way to survive there. The polar ice caps may be melting due to the changes in global climate, but there is cause for celebration in the Arctic. Why? Well, recently researchers unearthed a mysterious world beneath Antarctica, a world filled with unforeseen surprises. Will this mysterious world change Antarctica as we know it? Let's find out. Although the frozen continents of Antarctica may appear featureless from above, beneath the ice is a mysterious and intricate world that, according to researchers, may hold the key to understanding how climate change is affecting the planet. It is commonly known that the Antarctic ice sheet has been losing bulk quickly. The ice sheet's glaciers are melting six times more quickly now than they were 40 years ago as a result of rising ocean temperatures. According to NASA, Antarctica is currently losing 252 gigatons of ice a year, which is equivalent to three and a half Olympic swimming pools per second. The National Snow and Ice Data Center estimates that if all of Antarctica's ice melted, sea levels would increase by 200 feet, drowning every coastal city and obliterating entire nations from the face of the Earth. A sea level rise of even a little amount would be terrible. An area the size of Denmark would be affected by a sea level change of merely five feet, for instance. Millions of people would lose their houses in the United States coastal cities like New York City and Miami, which have infrastructure that is very close to the water's edge. However, researchers have started revealing the characteristics of a significant component that affects how quickly Antarctica melts. An ancient continent that lies deep beneath the ice sheet and is twice the size of Australia. 90% of Antarctica is covered by a 1.3 mile thick ice sheet that has built up over the ages. But the continent remained above the South Pole for approximately 100 million years without freezing. It had a much warmer climate and lush rainforests where dinosaurs foraged among the profusion of foliage than what may be seen in modern day New Zealand. At the end of the Eocene and the beginning of the Oligocene epochs, a significant shift in climate occurred. Since then, the ice caps have been growing steadily colder, notwithstanding the greenhouse effect. East Antarctica, West Antarctica and the Antarctic Peninsula make up today's three divisions of Antarctica, each with its own distinct geography. For example, the Antarctic Peninsula's ice conceals a mountain spine jutting out to the northwest from the continent's interior. The largest region of Antarctica, East Antarctica, has both mountains and some lowlands. The 750-mile-long Gambatsev mountain range, which has peaks that rise to 11,200 feet, is comparable in size to the European Alps and is entirely covered by more than 2,000 feet of ice. Nearly the whole surface of West Antarctica is below sea level. During the last ice age, the weight of the considerably thicker ice forced down on the bedrock, creating the ocean bowl under the region. Since West Antarctica has no landmass beneath it, the region is more susceptible to melting because it lacks the mountain ridges that help keep the glaciers in the east stable. Satellite data gathered between 1996 and 2006 revealed that although the pace of melting increased in West Antarctica, the thinning of the ice shelves, floating sheets of ice that linked to a landmass, halted in East Antarctica. NASA created the most precise map of the continent in 2019. The map, dubbed Bed Machine Antarctica, revealed previously unknown topographical features, such as broad ridges that protect the glaciers flowing across the Trans-Antarctic Mountains, which divide East and West Antarctica. It was created by combining ice movement measurements, seismic data and radar images. The world's deepest land canyon, which lies beneath Denman Glacier in East Antarctica, was also discovered using Bed Machine. That is much deeper than the Dead Sea, which is 1,419 feet below sea level and is the lowest exposed area of land. Despite substantial advancements in subglacial geology mapping, many portions of Antarctica remain unresolved and crucial spatial information is still lacking. 
To predict the ice movements hastened by a changing climate, it is still essential to understand what lies beneath Antarctica. Flowing freshwater lakes and rivers beneath the Antarctic ice sheets have long been the subject of speculative research but have never been thoroughly investigated. Recently, scientists assembled at the location in Antarctica after determining it to be a subterranean river, and they then drilled down 1,640 feet below the ice using a hot water hose to melt the ice. A never-before-seen ecosystem was found in the underground river that runs a third of a mile beneath an Antarctic ice shelf. A camera was lowered into the cavern underneath the ice shelf by the New Zealand team of scientists who drilled a hole through it. Detritus floating in the air appeared to be the only thing they could see at first. It was only after a short camera focus that it was shown to be real, living crabs. As the camera sank into the river, it was invaded by hundreds of amphipods, small shrimp-like crustaceans. They found dozens of different living forms thriving on a small area of the seafloor deep beneath Antarctica's ice shelves, an astonishing degree of animal diversity for a place that has never been exposed to sunlight. If you ask me three questions at the manuscript onset, said study co-author David Barnes, a marine biologist with the British Antarctic Survey, how much richness of life will we find? Not much. How abundant is it going to be? Not very. What's its growth going to be like? Very slow. And I would have been wrong on every point. Thought to be uncommon, life can exist deep beneath the Antarctic ice, protected from the sun's energizing beams. Such dark realms shouldn't have enough food to support a diversity of life, as most ecosystems are supported by photosynthetic organisms like plants or algae. What lurks beneath the ice shelves, which occupy 600,000 square miles, that's 1.6 million square kilometers of the ocean, may very well be the least explored underwater environment on Earth. The discovery of so much life thriving in such harsh conditions comes as a complete shock and a reminder of just how exceptional and unique Antarctic marine life is. The discovery of so much life beneath the ice sheet is one thing, but figuring out why it exists is another. According to a hypothesis, marine species such as jellyfish and bryozoans will become more scarce as they move away from the open ocean since they rely on algae that requires sunshine, as well as the brutal 28 degree Fahrenheit minus 2.2 degrees Celsius temperatures. The truth is that these animals prey on microscopic organisms like ciliates and dinoflagellates carried by the ocean currents beneath the ice shelf. The communities that live on the seafloor beneath the polar continental shelf in ice-free water are not constrained by a lack of food. As a result, they end up with far more than they can possibly need. Additionally, they don't consume a lot. These animals adhere to the ground and don't have large bodies filled with tissues that require a lot of energy. Therefore, they can live off the meagre amount of food that reaches them. Furthermore, carbon dating shows that these bottom dwellers are not recent residents of the ice shelves beneath Antarctica. Whatever its age, life has certainly persisted here, close to isolation for millennia. There may be a correlation between the lack of disturbance and the abundance of species in the environment. Storms, floods and fires don't occur below the ice, allowing all organisms that can endure the duration and stability necessary to radiate to every open niche. However, pristine environments like these could be among the first to disappear as a result of climate change driven by humans. These unique ecosystems may be lost if the Antarctic ice sheets melt. And once it's gone, it can't be brought back. Undoubtedly, the discovery is noteworthy. Nobody anticipated finding any form of life there, much less a hidden planet beneath Antarctica. And this discovery proved that there is a massive ecology beneath the ice. Therefore, it makes sense why the discovery was so unexpected. Antarctica, as previously said, is renowned for its extreme cold, dryness and ice. 
for a good reason too. 90% of the world's ice and 80% of its fresh water comes from this ice cap, which is part of the polar system. As a result, this continent significantly impacts the rest of the world. To this end, scientists have made it their mission to understand everything they can about it. The Ross Ice Shelf was the site where Antarctica's hidden world was discovered. It is the largest ice shelf in the world and has been the subject of several studies over the years. An entire amphipod ecosystem was discovered by chance. The goal was to understand better the various climatic scenarios that might affect the Ross Sea. Instead, they left having uncovered a previously unexplored environment and ecosystem. An incredible accomplishment, and one that hopefully will continue to shed light on this frigid and strange region of the planet. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.